For this video, I'm going to take you along as I design a sign, cut it on the Glowforge, and assemble it um, so that you can see the entire design process start to finish. I hope you enjoy. So the first step, um, I design the sign itself in Procreate. Um, so here you can see I wrote Ledwitzki, my last name, in a script font in the center and then just did a circle um, that would be the shape of the sign. And then I'm just drawing a bunch of really cute doodle flowers. Um, this is my favorite style to work in. That's pretty much where the name Samantha's Doodles comes from. Um, but I love to work in this style because it's so whimsical and fun. Um, but it can also be delicate and pretty depending on how um, it's finished. And then this piece is going to be a little bit different than my usual doodles. They're usually really bright and colorful, but this is going to be more neutral. Um, so I'm designing some signs that can be customized for my new shop launch on the 31st of July. And so this is going to be one of them. It's going to be a really cute, um, the blank family sign. So in this case, the Ludwitzki family. Um, and you can see that it took me a while to figure out which flowers worked well with this um, and to kind of play around with the balance and the weight of the piece. Um, but I think in the end it turned out really cute. I love the design itself um, and like I said it was drawn in Procreate and this probably took me 45 minutes or so um, to draw so this is definitely really sped up um, but I wanted to share that part of the process with you all because it is so much more than just you know turning on the Glowforge and hitting cut um, so there's there's a design part as well um, and I think that's the most fun. So from there, I import um, the different layers into Inkscape, and I do the path trace bitmap, and then your um, piece should have the outlines that you need to make the SVG file. So that's what it should look like when you double click, and then I save this as an SVG file and import it into the Glowforge app. And then from here, I just adjust the settings and go ahead and cut. So here is the time lapse of cutting this out. Um, it's definitely sped up a little bit, but it probably took about 20 minutes for this size, and I think it turned out really pretty, and it's so much more intricate than anything I could cut by hand, um, so that's what's really cool about this machine. For this layer, I cut these out of a eighth inch thickness of birch, and then I cut um, the circle itself out of a quarter inch. So this is what it looks like when you're done. Um, you lift it up and it does come apart pretty easily, but the masking got stuck on this one. Um, so it just took me a little bit because it was taped together. So they, <laughs> I had to break that apart, um, but they usually come apart really easily. You can see all the cutouts just still on the tray there. Um, and this is what that um, flowery ring looks like. Um, and then this is what the piece looks like before adding any color. And then I will show you with the stains next. This is the final result with the stain I chose, and I used a white for the detailing. Um, this is my prototype, so it's not perfect, but this is a good indication of what these signs will look like when they're finished. And I am really happy with the contrast. I think that the details are just beautiful. Thank you for following along on this project with me. If you have any questions about the Glowforge or ideas for what you want to see next, leave a comment and I'll make it happen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.